Hi, my name is Jake, and I am a bookish drummer. So for this video, I'm going to talk about the 30 books I would like to read before I turn 30. And if you're wondering, I'm 29 years old and my birthday is November 19th. So I have about half a year, right? How, how many months is that? Oh, I have five months to read these 30 books before I turn 30. And yeah, uh, I have a lot of books to talk about. Uh, also, this was Stacy's idea because I keep telling her like, oh, I'm dreading to turn 30. And so she kind of just did this as a joke. And I was like, oh, that, that actually sounds like a pretty decent idea. Uh, I think I will eventually, when I, when I actually turn 30, I'll probably talk about like my 30 favorite books or something or like the 30 best books I've read. I don't know. I'll, I'll do something for celebrating my 30th birthday. I still have five months left in my 20s, which I will live those out, and then I turn 30, and it's all over. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but anyway, here are the 30 books I would like to read before I turn 30. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I split these books up into uh, three different categories. The first one is going to be the Thrill, Chill, or Kill book club picks because obviously that's our book club for me and Stacy on the Book of Stormer Discord. And if any of these books sound good to you, you can come join the Discord and buddy read them with us. So there's five of those books, but I'm obviously going to read for the book club. And then the second category is gifted books, books I've been gifted over the past two or three years or so that I really want to read because someone actually gifted them to me. So I have a ton of those books I want to read. And then the third category is just random ass books that I have or that I want to read. Uh, some of these are new releases as well. So let's just jump right into it with the Thrill, Chill, or Kill book club picks. And like I said, there's five more. Uh, there's one that we're reading in December, which is an S.A. Cosby book, but obviously... That's December. That'll be after I turn 30. So the ones that we have left are The Only One Left by Riley Sager. Uh, this one I might be the most excited for just because I recently read uh, his other book, uh, The House Across the Lake, which that one was five stars. His other books have been kind of hit or miss for me, but this one sounds really good, and I know Stacy's excited for us to read it as well. Another one is Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. Uh, is this the one where it's Dexter? I don't know. One of, one of these books is like, has a Dexter comparison, which will always suck me into it. Jar of Hearts, I'm having a hard time remembering what it is, but either way, it's going to get read. <laughs> um, His and Hers by Alice Feeney. This is another one that I really don't know that much about. I think Stacy read like the back of the book. It was just like a quick, like, you know, his and hers and blah, blah, blah. And it sounded pretty good. I know nothing about it, but I'll read it. Uh, wrong Place, Wrong Time. I think this is supposed to be kind of like a uh, Groundhog Day situation. I think if I'm thinking of the right book, I don't remember. But either way, I know Sharon really enjoyed it. Uh, and, and she usually has great thriller and horror recommendations. So excited for that one. And then They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. I think this might be the Dexter book where it's like a female Dexter I can't remember, but I'm going to read it and I'm going to tell you. So those are the five thrill or chill or kill book club picks that I'll read before I turn 30. All right, so let's talk about the gifted books that I'm going to read uh, before I turn 30. Uh, one of them would be Flesh Rehearsal by Brian Bauer. This one I will be reading in July during the Battle of the Bands, Readathon, Battle of the Decades. If you haven't signed up yet, you can use the link down below. Join the Bookish Drummer Discord, choose your team, and we'll get reading in July. This one, I don't know too much about. 
I think it's like a supernatural serial killer kind of deal. And I know music is involved because I think one of them has like an audition for a band, something like that. Uh, it's a self-pub horror. I usually have a great time with self-pub horror, so we're gonna give that a shot. Speaking of self-pub horror, I also have In the Hills Above the Grist Mill by Calvin Ellis. This was bought uh, and recommended to me by Sharon. And like I said, she usually has great taste in horror. And I have usually a great time with self-pub horror these days. Uh, this one will definitely be read. I don't know when because it is Sharon's Patreon pick. And if you don't know, if you join my Patreon, which I'll link down below, you get to choose a book to vote for. And every month I do a Patreon wheel spin. And if your book wins, I read that book the following month. And Sharon's had this on the wheel for a few months now. So I'm hoping it'll win before I turn 30 and I'll get to read it and hopefully enjoy it. Speaking of Sharon, another book that she gifted to me, I need to start reading her, her gifted books, is Black Mouth by Ronald Malfi. And the main reason I'm interested in this is because it's supposed to be this author's sort of version of it, which I do love that book, although it is a bit lengthy. This one is a more condensed version. I'm sure it'll have its differences, but I think it's the similar concept of like these kids coming back to childhood trauma in this town that they left because of something crazy and supernatural that happened and they have to re kind of reface it. Sounds pretty similar. I'm hoping that I will enjoy it. Another horror book that I've been meaning to read for a while is Kill Creek and uh, by Scott Thomas. And this one, I've heard nothing but great things. I don't know why it's taking me so long to read, but it's going to happen before I turn 30. I'm Super excited for this one. Another gifted book is The Flanders Panel by an author that I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce. Uh, this was gifted to me, I think, by Patrick a long time ago, maybe like one and a half years ago, maybe. Uh, I think it's supposed to be kind of like a historical mystery involving puzzles or something. I can't remember or I don't really remember, but It'll be read by me this year. Another book that I think was gifted to me by Sharon yet again is First Person Singular by Haruki Murakami. I love Murakami, although I have to kind of spread him out. I can't read a lot of him back to back to back. And his short stories are usually hit or miss. Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're kind of boring. I'm hoping that his newest one will be good. This next book is a fantasy book, and that would be The Bard's Blade by Brian D. Anderson. I'm hoping to buddy read this with a few people. I'm bad at keeping track of buddy reads, honestly. I think, I can't remember who's supposed to buddy read this with me, but I think Stacy might have gifted this to me. I'm also bad at keeping track of who gifted me books, apparently. Either way, it's going to be read this year because I'm excited to start trying out some new series. Like the first half of this year and even now is all about like wrapping up series, but eventually I got to start reading some of these first books in series that I've acquired over the past year or so. So this is going to be one of them. And speaking of fantasy series to start, I have Chasing Graves by Ben Galley. It's the first book in the Chasing Graves trilogy. I don't know too much about this, although I think it involves zombies. It looks like a zombie and it's called Chasing Graves. So I really don't know that much about it, but I know uh, Jordan over at the Boiled Jellyfish really enjoys this author, probably this series as well. So definitely looking forward to that. Another book I want to read in July for the Battle of the Bands readathon is Before I Met You by Lisa Jewell, I'm trying to make my way through all of her books. I originally planned on reading her new book in July, but then I found out that it actually doesn't come out till August. So I switched it out with this one, which is a book, uh, I think it's supposed to be a little different than her normal mystery thriller books. I think it's supposed to be more historical fiction. I believe it takes place in the 20s. And I've pretty much loved every Lisa Jewell book I've read. So I'm assuming I'm going to love this. And I'll let you know. And my last gifted book I have to talk about is A Winter's Promise by... Uh, Stacy always gets on me with these French pronunciations. Christelle Dabos? Dabo? I don't know. But it's the first book in the um, 
uh, the Mirror Visitor series. And she gifted me this book like before we even started dating. So a while ago, I think for either my birthday or for Christmas, this was kind of her wild card pick of like, I really like it. I don't know if you're going to like it, but you could. I think sh she said that I'll enjoy the magic system and the story. It's got like slight romance in it that I might be iffy about, but I'm willing to give it a shot and I'm going to try to do it before I turn 30. And now we move on to kind of the random category. So these are just kind of like random books that I want to read. Uh, a lot of these are uh, new releases uh, that have either come out this year, are going to come out this year, or maybe last year. I don't know, but let's talk about them. Probably the one that I'm the most excited for is, like I said, the new Lisa Jewell book, None of This is True. I'm like all of her new books, basically almost all of her books, I give five stars. So like, should I even read this? I know I'm going to give it five stars. Of course I'm going to read it, but yeah. I, I'm i super excited for this for obvious reasons. The premise sounds really cool. I mean, it's Lisa Jewell. I love like thrillers. The idea of like having a podcast in a thriller and it's Lisa Jewell doing a podcast thriller. So I'm super excited for it. And then of course, Holly by Stephen King, for obvious reasons. I'll read any new Stephen King book. Uh, I am excited for this, although I'm lowering my expectations because Holly, Holly has grown on me. She's not one of my all-time favorite characters. I'm a little worried that her having an entire book might not be the best idea, but I'm going in with lower expectations. I think I'm going to enjoy it. I'm also super excited to check out The Whisperers by Ashley Audrain. This is the author of The Push, which one of my all-time favorite books. One of the most emotional books and one of the books that got such a visceral reaction out of me, like just a gut punch to my soul. And I know nothing about this book. I'm going to read it, hopefully without hearing anyone's opinions or thoughts on it. I'm just going to go in blind and hopefully enjoy it. I'm going to try not to compare it to The Push either, but you never know. I'm also excited to check out Everyone Here is Lying by Cherie Lapina. I absolutely loved The Couple Next Door. All of her other books have been either pretty good or decent. Like I've never had a bad time with any of her books, although a few of them have been kind of forgettable. Hopefully this one can kind of raise up to the level of The Couple Next Door and Stranger in the House. Really good books. And then I also have Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. This book came out earlier this year. I bought the audiobook thinking I was going to listen to it and I just never got around to it. So hopefully I can get around to it. And his other secret novels, I'm not sure if I will get to this year. I might just have to wait on them. I don't know. But this one, since I already own it, I want to try to get to it this year. And now let's continue the video with some more random books that I want to try to get to before I turn 30. And these next two books are by the same author. And if I read these two books, or when I read these two books, uh, I will have read all of her books. And that would, of course, be Taylor Jenkins Reid. I believe these are her first two novels, uh, Forever Interrupted and, and After I Do. Uh, these are the only ones I haven't read by her. Um, I'm actually going to be reading this in July, of course, during the readathon. And then this one I'll throw in sometime before I turn 30. Excited for both of them. I'm not sure I'm going to love them as much as her previous novels, because I think these are more romancy. Or this one's supposed to be more about grief. This one, I don't know. I think I'll like this one. Really love it. This one I'm iffy about. I don't know, but I'll read them. And pretty much the rest of these books are all sci-fi and fantasy leaning, so let's talk about them. Another book I plan on reading in July, a lot of these I'm reading in July apparently, is Windhaven by George R. R. Martin and Lisa Tuttle. This is a standalone fantasy that they co-wrote in, I believe, the early 80s. And this is one of the only George R. R. Martin like books that I haven't read before. And I want to read it very badly. So I'm finally going to get to it in July. This next book will make Stacy very happy. And that would be Dragonfly in Amber, which is book two of Outlander. I will be reading this in August because I quite enjoyed book one. I gave it four stars. And now I'm going to be jumping into this pretty much not knowing anything. Because I, I watched like the first half of season one. So I kind of knew 
bits and pieces of where the story would go. This one I'm jumping in not really knowing anything about where the story is going to go. So I'm hoping to enjoy it a little bit more. This next book I'm going to try to make my way through a lot of his books and this is one of them. Shards of Earth by Adrian Tchaikovsky. This is the first in the final architecture series. I think I will be buddy reading this with Andrew from Andrew's Wizardly Reads sometime this year. Uh, we'll see. I'm definitely interested in it. Um, yeah. This next book I think we'll be reading in August, maybe September. It all depends on, uh, there's a few people that are buddy reading the first book. Then this is the second book. So it all just depends on when they do that. And that would be The Warrior Prophet by R. Scott Baker, which is the second book in the Prince of Nothing trilogy, the sequel to The Darkness That Comes Before, which I didn't love, but I've heard the, the writing and the plot kind of gets better with book two. So I'm going to give it a shot. If I don't like really enjoy this book, I'll probably DNF the series, but I am willing to give book two another shot or a shot because... I haven't read it yet. Yeah. This next first book in a series, I will be buddy reading with Patrick Ryan in August, I believe. And that would be The Bone Ships by R.J. Barker. Definitely excited for this one. Sounds like a very intriguing premise. The only thing that kind of scares me is that Andrew, like I said, from Andrew's Wizardly Reads, loves this book, loves this series. And we typically have opposing opinions. So... Maybe this will be kind of the bridge that like that we both love this series and we can kind of work on that or work from that. I don't know. I'm hoping to love it, but we'll see. This next book is actually the last book in a trilogy and I'm definitely expecting it to be awesome. And that would be An End to Sorrow by Michael R. Fletcher. I'm going to be rereading the first two books in July during the readathon. And then during the readathon, I'll read book three. And yeah, I'm hoping a lot of a lot of people have said this is an epic conclusion and it's just bonkers. And I'm hoping for it to be very, very good. This next book I'm actually going to be reading in June, probably next week or sometime in June, whenever you're watching this, I don't know. And that would be Priest of Bones by Peter McLean. I've heard a lot of great things about this, especially from Jordan from The Boiled Jellyfish. He loves this author and this series. Uh, I know it's supposed to be kind of like a fantasy mafia thing. I think probably different, but similar to like Greenbone Saga, which I, I enjoyed but didn't love. I'm hoping that I love this one. And the last book, if I'm doing my math correctly and I didn't forget anything, is Lost Gods by Brahm. And of course, the main reason I'm interested in reading this book is because I loved his two other books that I read, The Child Thief, which I gave four and a half stars, and Krampus, which one of my all-time favorite books, I gave five stars. This one I've heard isn't as quite as good as those two, but I'm definitely excited to just read more Brahm. I think he has this one and one other one. It's called Slewfoot, I think. I don't own that one yet, but I will read that one eventually. This one I will try my darndest to read before I turn 30. All right, so those are the 30 books I would love to be able to read before I turn 30. And like I said, I turn 30 in about five months from when I'm filming this, like five months in a week, give or take, uh, November 19th. So I have about five months. It's definitely doable because I usually read anywhere between 10, 12, up somewhat, sometimes 15 or more books a month. So it's definitely doable. The, the, the trick is just going to be to spread out these books during the course of the year. Try not to read like too much fantasy in a month or too much horror in a month. So kind of just spread it out. So hopefully I can get to all of these books. If not, not the end of the world. Still have plenty of time unless I die on my birthday. <gasps> um... But yeah, all jokes aside, those are the books that I want to try to get to before I turn 30. Uh, have you read any of these books? Uh, what do you want me to read? Uh, what, what are you the most excited for me to read out of these books? Which books are your favorite, your least favorite? Whatever you want to type in the comments below, I will read and we will chat about it. Please do that. And thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and continue to subscribe to, subscribe to the Bookish Drummer uh, channel. I don't know why I'm messing up my outro. Uh, Bookish Drummer channel and Discord, Patreon, Amazon wishlist. All that good stuff linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic doodly ass mother day. <laughs> oh boy.